<laughs> you have no you have no clue how many people have been like, what should I do with my arm? It's Wednesday, September 12th. I'm Katie. And I'm Sarah. And it's time for your morning announcements. We would like to thank everyone who came out this morning for a time of prayer in memory of Mr. Aaron Hunting. It was nice to see everyone show up in support. In other news, West Virginia Lions Youth Exchange Contest is still underway. The contest is a scholarship that provides funds for students in grades 10 through 12 toward a four to six week cultural exchange trip next summer. Three travel grants of $1,500 will be awarded. The contest deadline is November 15th. If interested, entry forms are available in the counselor's office. Congratulations goes out to our Upward Bound officers, Caleb Aggins, President, Jordan Cooper, Vice President, Secretary slash Treasurer, Kate Lee Thaxton. The PSAT will be given at LCHS on Wednesday, October 17th. The PSAT is open for sophomores and juniors in order to participate in the National Merit Scholarship Program. A student must qualify their junior year. Cost is $14 per student and fee waivers are available for eligible juniors. Students interested in taking the PSAT must register with Miss Mary Mullins in the counselor's office by Friday, September 21st. Don't forget we are having a blood drive on Tuesday, October 2nd, sponsored by the Health Occupations. There will be a gear up field trip October 25th for juniors to attend a student leadership academy at Marshall University. Seating is very limited and if you want to attend, go to www www.wvgearup.org and click on the link that says sign up for school and regional events. FCA Marshall Game Day will be October 27th at the Marshall UCF football game. The price for the event, which includes game ticket, pre-game rally, tailgating, transportation, and t-shirt is $30. Permission slips are available in Ms. Trice's room 2109 and are due by September 28th. The FCA will be sponsoring See You at the Pole on Wednesday, September 26th. This event will begin at 9 o'clock and all students and staff are invited to attend. The fall production of LCHS Theater will be The Little Theater's Production of Hamlet by Jean Batlow. Auditions will be posted this week and held later next week. Rehearsals will be held after school Wednesday and Thursday. The play will be November 5th through the 11th. In sports news, we have a surprise announcement. Yeah. And here are your JV and varsity players of the week. Freshmen, Lexi Ross, sophomore Jamie Smith, and juniors, Sarah Pennington and Jessica San Gregory. Coach, you want to say a few words? Um, well, these ladies actually deserve this honor um, this week because they worked really hard in our games against Logan. They um, worked really hard in our games against um, Capitol and Riverside. And um, I usually just pick one player of the week, but um, these past two weeks I needed two from the JV and varsity. So ladies, congratulations. Keep up the good work. Clap, clap, clap. Yay! Yay! Student government elections are scheduled for this Thursday during AA. We are introducing the candidates for each grade level, and today we meet some of the 11th grade candidates. Hey guys, we're in the meeting center with your 11th grade candidates. I'm Doe Lacey, I'm running for president, and a vote for me is a vote for America. I'm Savannah Thompson, I'm running for vice president, vote for me. I'm Caitlin Bowman, I'm running for junior class secretary, vote for me. I'm Haley Stanley, and I'm running for president, vote for me. I'm Taylor Muncy, and I'm running for vice president, vote for me. And those are your candidates. And don't forget guys, this is your candidate for treasurer. Hi, I'm Priscilla, vote for me. Hello, Lincoln County High School. I'm Parker Polly, candidate for student body president. I feel like to vote for someone, you must first know them. I'm six feet tall, wear a size 12 shoe, have blue eyes, and my favorite kind of pie is apple. I'm current president of the FCA, and unlike many people running for student government this year, I have previous student government experience. Six years ago, four great schools assembled like the Avengers to form a school like Lincoln County has never seen before. That's where the school has been left. The building built, but the student body left a mess. As student body president, I would like to increase activity in the school environment and the community. I also plan to give you what you want or need when I can. To begin, I will put up clocks and calendars in the hallway so you always know what time it is and you always know what's happening that month. I want to start a community service club to give back to the community that gives, back, that gives so much to us. During basketball season, I want to have a, home, a homecoming style week with spirit activities and maybe even a dance at the end. I also want to have a black light dance. 
with glow sticks and all that great stuff. At the end of the year, I want to plan a senior dinner so we can all come together for one last time before we have to leave. I want to help improve the reward trips, have class competitions, and try to get powder puff football. Of course, all of this must first have, to have all this, we must first have the funds. I promise to be at every car wash, every hot dog sale, and be a part of every fundraiser that will benefit the student body. I will be there for the students and everything they stand for. Finally, I promise to speak to the Board of Education about hosting a Hooks for Books or Hometown Heroes boxing program. I know I will have the support of the student body along with former, former Olympic boxing coach, Gary Tony. Team boxing will require proper safety equipment and amateur boxing in general has significantly less recorded injuries than high school football. Boxing teaches determination, a healthy lifestyle, respect, and teamwork because behind every boxer is a boxing club or team. Before this campa campaign even began, I tried to become with friends with the sophomores, the freshmen, the juniors, and the seniors, along with as many people on each team and program that I could be. Even though if I wouldn't have ran for this position, I still would have tried to become your friend. Remember, on election day, vote Parker Polly, because with a great mustache comes great responsibility. Hello, students of Lincoln County High School. My name is Lindsay Terlikowski, and I'm running to be your student body president. If there's one thing that you need to know about me, it is that I'm a very driven and hardworking person, and that I will do anything to make this school year great. So first off, I'd like to talk about some things that I would like to change in the school. One of the things that I think is most important is that we all look back on this year and remember it to be one of the greatest. To help us do this, I would like to have a time capsule this year. We can all put in things that will remind us of how we live today, and then 50 years from now, we can open it and look back on all the great memories that we had. Also, I would like to create a Someday We Will wall that at, at, the, at the end of the year, we can all sign and put something that we'd like to accomplish. And then at each class reunion, we can hang these up and look how close we came to our goals and also look back on the people that we were today. Some other things that I would like to change is our level of school spirit. It's impossible to not notice that we are lacking a bit in it. I do believe in all of our boys and girls, and I know that we are all talented. However, sometimes it's easy to get discouraged whenever your school isn't supporting you. Therefore, I would like to make spirit weeks more frequent, take the time on every Friday to uh, wear panther wear and be rewarded for it. Also, I would like to have more pep rallies. In addition to this, I would like to change our reward trips so that way they are more varied and we can participate in more activities which will give us more incentive for being such good and well-rounded students. Additionally, I would like to make the lounge area once again for seniors only, so that way we can decorate it in certain things that apply specifically to seniors. While this may seem like these things are more directed at the senior class, I'm hoping that this will eventually start traditions that will apply to the younger classes. Another thing that I think is really important is that we have more opportunities to participate in community service work. So I would like to, during our long AA days, create different opportunities for us to do this. I would like to bring in an organization called Love Letters, where you get to make cards and send them to children that are in the hospital. This will not only serve as your community service, but also allow you to give back. One other thing that I think is super important for this year is that we take the stuff that is in the Panther store and change it so that way it's more varied and something more that we all would like to have. Last but not least, I want to make sure that we come together as a family this year, because that's what our school is. Even though we come from four different consolidated schools, we all need to support each other and make sure that we get along. So I want to provide so many different opportunities, such as making class shirts or even having our class competitions again. So that way we can all just come together and really support each other as far as it goes. If you vote me this election, I promise that I'll do my best to make this school year one of the best that we've ever had. I don't just want to make it rememberable. 
but I want to make it worth remembering. Thank you. Cool. This is Mrs. Terry here with your two candidates for student body president, Parker Polly and Lindsay Turlikowski. Remember, vote for the candidate that you feel will best lead the student government. So to start off, we will have a debate with our candidates. Your first question, Parker, what leadership qualities do you have that will make you an effective student body president? Well, Mrs. Terry, like I said in my speech, I'm current president of the FCA. I was president of the FCA last year also. I have former skills with student government. I just know how to lead. I know that it's better to lead by example instead of just bossing people around. I believe I can do that well. Um, I think my strongest qualities that will help me to be a leader are that I'm a truly caring person. Um, I'm on the cheerleading team and a lot of times that's just you bringing other people up and cheering them on and that's what I love to do. In addition to that, I give my all in every single thing that I do, whether that be cheerleading or speech and debate or working on a community service project. You can always count on me to be there and be working harder than anyone else. As student body president, what are your goals for student government and for the school as a whole this year? My biggest goal is just to bring everyone together and make sure that we're as close-knit of a family as we possibly can be. I want to make sure that every single student has a voice and is spoken for, and I believe that I can do that. I believe that we can bear the student body as a whole. Like said in the movie The Campaign, the school is a mess, and I have the broom to clean it up. We can do this, Lincoln County. I plan on having multiple community service groups to help bear the community to have stuff in the school that makes things right. <laughs> Yo. Parker, what kind of events do you want to plan for the school this year? Mrs. Terry, I would like to plan a homecoming week during basketball season, a black light dance with glow sticks and techno music, community service groups, bear reward trips, that way we can get more of a variety and people can just overall enjoy it more. I would also like to do just overall things that make people happy. It's what we're all about. Um, obviously there's going to be the senior trip, which I intend to be fully on board for. Uh, prom, I want to make sure that everyone is spoken for. I want to incorporate a few theme dances, such as a masquerade theme dance. Um, I would also like to include better reward trips, as my opponent has suggested. Uh, I want to make sure that we have a much wider variety of trips that we can do, which would be in the same budget. So, How will you make sure that student government is active? Well, first of all, I want to make sure that any student feels free and comfortable to come over and talk to me and tell them what kind of things they would like to be incorporated. And from there, it's a lot of motivation and going out and just presenting your ideas in a good way, which I believe I can do as a member of the speech and debate team. Um, I'm just going to speak up as much as possible and make sure that every issue that seems important to anyone will be spoken for. Well, Mrs. Terry, we're going to have a lot of fundraising for the school. And the school needs to be more of a democracy than a dictatorship. The people need to have a voice. And we need to better incorporate that into the school lifestyle. Candidates, this is your final question. What makes you, Lindsay, the best candidate for student body president? The thing that makes me the best candidate is that I really do care about how our school year goes. I don't just want it for the title. I just don't want it to say that I am who I am and I don't want to boss people around. I truly want to make this year memorable and I want to make sure that every single one of you can look back and have something great to see. Well, I have plenty of experience with the student body. I know how the things operate around here, and I know what needs to be done and how to get it done. And I believe with the students and their cooperation, it can happen. Okay, Lincoln County, it's voting time. Make sure you vote for the person that will do the best job as student body president, as well as your class officers. All right, Panthers, don't forget to check us out on our YouTube page or tweet at us at LCHS Pride. Remember, don't use your cell phone during the school day. I'm not going to mess up. I know how to talk. Am I standing? Do I need to do something with my arm? I need to do something with my arm.